Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to set up a MyFitnessPal account today and show you just basically the basic features of the MyFitnessPal. So I'm on my desktop right now, so it might differ a little bit if you're on your phone, but it's basically all the same. Um, so basically, you just go into MyFitnessPal.com if you're on your uh, computer. If you're on your, uh, your phone, then you're just going to go to your app store and download it. It's a free app. Um, if you don't know how to get to your apps or um, just ask one of the trainers, ask myself and see me around. Um, but basically, once you get there and you get it on your phone, um, it's going to ask you whether you want to sign up through Facebook, which I think is the easiest, um, or you can do it through your email. Um, because I already have one through my Facebook, I'm going to sign up with email right now, just using an old email that I never used. Um, so basically, I'm going to put in my info here. <clears throat> and again, if you go through your, uh, if you go through uh, through your Facebook, you won't have to do any of this. All right, it says uh, an account with that email already exists. <laughs> okay, let's see here. <clears throat> All right, that won't let me in. Um, so basically, I'm just going to type in my uh, current weight right now. So I think I'm weighing about 200 right now. 5'7", uh, my goal weight, let's say I want to be 185, okay, male, birth date, uh, zip code, whatever. I don't think I even need to put that stuff in, but for simplicity. Um, so this is when it's basically going to ask you what your activity levels is. Most people are going to be sedentary. So I would put that, um, you know, a lot of people would be like, I work at a daycare or whatever. I'm chasing kids around. Your body's pretty used to that. So I just put sedentary unless you're like a construction worker or something like that. I wouldn't put um, much, much past lightly active. So I'm just going to keep mine as sedentary because I do work on a computer for the most part during the day. How many times do I plan on exercising? I like to exercise at least five times a week um, for, you know, 30 to 60 minutes. So I'll just put 45. Um, let's see here. How do you track your energy? Okay, calories. So I'm going to put, I want to lose one pound per week. Okay. Uh, starting out, you can do two pounds per week just so you get some really good results right away. Eventually, you want to get down to like a half a pound or a pound per week just because um, for maintaining that muscle, that's what you're going to want. Um, let's see here. So beginning, if you're just beginning your journey, that could be a lot quicker. So uh, don't think that you're only, you're only going to lose two pounds per week or anything like that. It could be uh, something. Uh, it could be a lot faster. So. Uh, okay, this is asking me to sign up a friend. Um, no, don't want to do this. I'm going to forego this part. All right, cool. So it has to be at uh, 1,500 calories per day, super low. Um, so uh, let's see, calories burned per week. So these are my goals. Um, this None of this really matters as of right now. This is something we'll probably get into uh, um a little deeper as we go forward so basically I just want to show you how to um, so because my email was marine man 55 um, that gave me the username right there right away so um, if you create your own username try to make it just like your first name last name if possible it just makes it easier for us when we go in and check your stuff to actually know who it is uh, a lot of times we'll get some crazy names like you know, princess 45 or whatever, we have no idea who it is. So then we have to go in and ask you who it is and wait for you to respond. It just takes longer. So um, do something simple, first name, last name, uh, you know, initials, things like that. That'll be easier. You can also upload uh, your video or your, uh, your uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Picture. Um, and then that's even easier for us to see who's all, you know, um, 
who's who in this uh, platform. So let's see here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at uh, logging my food. Okay, so I'm going to click here on food. I'm going to go to breakfast. I'm going to go add food. And then I'm going to uh, see here. I can type in what the food is that I'm going to eat. So let's say I'm going to eat some egg whites for breakfast. So egg whites. I'm going to search that. And again, this looks a little different than what it's going to look like on your phone, but it all kind of uh, relative. Uh, maybe I'll do one on the phone too, just to make it easier to see what's going on. Um, so cool. Looks good. If it has the green, uh, if it has a green check mark there, it means it was verified by the company and that's a pretty legitimate um, nutritional facts there. So add that to my food diary. Cool. So now I have uh, my calories here, carbs, fats, proteins, nothing you need to really worry about quite yet. Um, but what I do want you to notice is that basically however many calories, which was 48 calories um, for a hundred grams of, uh, of, uh, egg whites here um it took that off my daily um goal okay so basically i had 1500 calories to work with all day long um and i need to divide that up amongst about five different meals okay and get a good protein intake while we're working out that's definitely key uh, is getting enough protein so i wouldn't worry about too much about the water consumption or anything else don't worry about logging your exercise in here this is simply just for your food um, so you can see exactly where you're hitting every day as far as your your food intake. Okay, so um, a cool feature that is on um, the phone app is a scan bar um, feature, which basically says, <clears throat> I highly doubt it's on here, but um, basically it'll be like up in the corner here. It'll look like just like a, like a bar scanner. Um, and basically you can, click that and if you have something that's in a box or something that's packaged, you can scan um, the food that way and then it just puts it in there for you. So at that point, the only thing you really need to worry about is your uh, portion size, how much you're actually getting in. Um, everything that's on a nutritional label, label is uh, has a specific portion size. So it's based off of whatever that portion is. So just make sure that uh, you're getting somewhere close. So um, once you play around with it a little bit, it gets a little bit easier. So um, just uh, play around with it and um, see, uh, you know, basically see what you can do with it. So uh, let's see here. Next thing I want to look at is my friends. Okay. So if I go to my settings here, this is one thing you want to do right away is go to your settings. You're going to go to your um, diary settings and it's going to be automatically, uh, it's going to be automatically um, private. Um, so you want to change that to public or friends only. I do friends only just so obviously the people that I'm friends with are going to be uh, friends with me. So I'm going to save changes there. And then I'm going to go up and friend request the gym account. Okay. So that's something that you guys all need to do. Friend request the gym account. So I'm going to go to friends. I don't have any friends yet. All I have to do to get friends is, where's that plus mark at? Mm, no, it's not here. Here's a find members. Uh, this doesn't look good either. Invite friends. Nope. Oh yeah, okay, here, so here it is. This is, uh, you can add your friends by email. So usually on, and again, sorry, this is like slower. I'm used to um, the mobile app, but basically uh, on the mobile app, it's going to ask you, you know, um, how you would like to invite your friends. So there's an email, there's a way um, to do it through email or username. 
Um, but for us, you're just going to use the, the email. So um, I'm going to put in my first name here. And then I'm going to um, invite. I'm going to put in the email. So I'm going to put Lincoln Fit Body Boot Camp at gmail.com that's our gym account that's the one you're gonna friend request okay um so if you're north so this is a south gym account if you're north you're gonna actually want to do uh it's north lincoln at bbc.com that's on all your paperwork so just make sure you uh friend request the right um gym the one that you go to and that's the one we manage so cool so I got my diary settings open. I got uh, my friend requested. Um, let's see here. What else do I want to show you guys? Show, showed you how to log your food. If you ever want to, you know, check up on your goals, you're just going to come over here. I'm at 1,500 calories per day. Um, so the protein intake is really low initially. Um, you can change that if you want. When we yell into dialing in your macronutrients and all that fun stuff, we're gonna tell you exactly where these percentages need to be at, so it's nothing you have to worry about. But again, <clears throat> we get people coming in saying, you know, oh, I'm hitting my protein goal every day because it's really, really low. So, um, you know, I like to start everybody off on maybe a like, I think I do a 35, 25, and then I think this is a 40, yeah. So we'll start off there. Um, I might go higher here, actually go 40 and do 35 for uh, the carb. So not a big deal either way right now. It's a year, your, your main thing is just to track your calories and see where you're at every day and make sure you're getting close to this goal, okay? So when I say close, it doesn't mean like, you know, if you're 1500 calories, you're only getting 1200 calories because a lot of people think that like, if they don't, if, you know, the less calorie intake they do and the more they expand, um, the more weight they're going to lose faster, which is somewhat true, but you're going to lose a lot of muscle with that too, which is uh, contradictory to what you want just because when you lose the muscle, that muscle is going to help you stay lean. The muscle is going to help you burn, burn more calories. So if you lose a bunch of muscle, um, it's going to be, it's not good for you, obviously. And uh, when you go, when you put the weight back on, it usually comes on worse and in the form of fat. So, all right. So, um, got that broken down. Let's see here. Oh, here's my profile. Okay. So I'm going to go to my profile here. Um, if I do want to upload a picture, I can do that here. So I can go to edit folder, edit photos or edit profile. I think in here you might be able to change. Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. I was thinking maybe you could change your uh, username if it was something kind of weird. But here you can upload your photos. That always helps us out a little bit. Um, let's see here. Yeah, and I think that's basically it, guys. So that's basically my fitness pal, the very basics of it. Um, again, you want to log every day, at least three times per day. Um, remember getting those protein shakes in between each meal. Um, cool, and I think that's it, guys. So let me know if you have any questions on that.